Other people go full head. Hey everybody, Luxenda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. All right, so I was having a chat online last night with Anthony Crammon. I'm trying to convince him because he mentioned that he thought he might give resin tumblers a go at some point. I was thinking about creating a Tumblr, like what Luxinda does, but. So I was, I was trying, I was urging him along. Come on, do it, do it. Gently, not, not pressuring, you know, the way I do. <laughs> And one of his comments was, it looks like I have a lot of stuff. And it's true. Uh, I've been doing this for about three years now and I have accumulated a crap ton of equipment and supplies and tools and all sorts of things that I use to make resin tumblers with. However, in the interest of helping people who are thinking about it but not sure, I would recommend a very, very simple beginner tumbler that doesn't require a lot of stuff. So that's what we're gonna to do today. This is gonna be a beginner's alcohol ink tumbler. You will need a tumbler turner. These are all over Amazon in so many different configurations. This is a very basic one. The motor turns at three RPM. It has obviously one arm. It doesn't easily come out. You sort of have to twist it. And I use a Dollar Tree foam football. You can use pool noodles. There are lots of different ways to make the arm secure in the tumbler. And then you just put it in here and push it in till it's good and tight. I do recommend a level. So you can make sure your tumbler is level before you proceed with applying resin. Besides that, you're gonna need a tumbler. You can get those on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them from all sorts of different actual tumbler suppliers. This happens to be for Makerflow, but that's because I go through a lot of tumblers. I have taken this one and I've spray painted it matte white. You can leave yours naked. I happen to love how stainless steel tumblers look with alcohol ink on them. I think they're gorgeous. Put a tumbler on a turner, get yourself some alcohol inks and in colors you like. There are so many different kinds available on Amazon. On. The ones I've chosen for today, I have two from Woody's Goodies. This is Grapesicle and Coconut Blackberry, a deep purple and a much lighter purple. And then from Marabou, I have two different blues. I have Aqua Blue and, well, technically Aqua Green. I have two Aquas. And I also have Marabou's Deep White. The white goes on top of the colors and will actually, because it's denser, because it has opaque white pigment in it, it will move things around even more. And the idea here is you put your colors on, you put your white on, you hit it with some heat, and I do that with an embossing heat gun. It's about $10 on Amazon. You can get one of the great big honkin' multi-setting heat guns. I have one of those as well. The high performance industrial heat guns. Yeah, this will work, but this will work also. So get everything on the cup, hit it with some heat, maybe tip it up and down, get the, the colors and the white to start moving around and change direction. Most of these turners, you change direction by turning it off and then turning it right back on. Sometimes you have to do that a couple of times, it switches direction. Other than that, you need resin. We are going to use today Tumblr's Coating Epoxy, which is from the Epoxy Resin Store, but it's available through Amazon. So it's easy for everybody who has an Amazon account to get a hold of. You can use pretty much any art resin as long as it says it's okay for tumblers. Some of the ones on Amazon, while they may be cheaper, tend to be so thin, so low viscosity, that they form great big honking fish eyes when you put alcohol inks on them. I wouldn't necessarily recommend those for a beginner cup, but the Tumblr's Coating Epoxy works really well. KS Art Resin works really well. Mixed Media Girls Art Resin works really well. There are lots of name brand art resins that work beautifully. This one I'm using today is available on Amazon. That's why I picked it. This is only a 20 ounce tumbler, so I'm only gonna need 15 to 20 milliliters of resin, but I'm gonna mix a little more than that. Always wanna have more, not less. I have a mold so I can put anything I have left over into a mold mold and not waste it. And we're going to make a tumbler. To me, in my opinion, this is the easiest tumbler to make. It also requires the least amount of stuff. So here we go.
let's take this out of here. Let's see how this turned out. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely flippin' stunning. We have lacing. That is just gorgeous. One of the easiest tumblers to make, a great tumbler for beginners, and it is beautiful. Now, could you have done a more complicated version of this? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> this is a perfect just getting started in resin tumbler making tumbler to make. How's that for a mouthful? All right, let's go out and see what this baby looks like in the sunshine. Here we go.